States is being rocked by an explosion of violence and anger. Crowds have taken over the city of Minneapolis as payback for the death of an unarmed black man at the hands of police. An American city exploding with fire and anger. <laughs> Outburst of looting with police under siege. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. And officers firing back. Yeah, one police station was overrun. <laughs> officers had to flee as the invaders set fire to the building. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! <laughs> it was almost a victory celebration of conquering the symbols of power. The death of a black man at the hands of a white policeman. But the furious response had mostly no racial borders. <laughs> white and black Americans together as they took to the streets. Holy Christmas. Oh boy, oh boy. We've got two, two CHP cruisers. And targeted the home of patrolman Derek Chauvin, the man who knelt on the neck of local man George Floyd, an act that killed the black security guard, as the anger transformed into a looting free-for-all. They're taking the stabbing victim away, obviously, to try to get him to hospital. <laughs> oh, someone's been shot in the head with a st stun gun. Uh, um, so he's walking away. He's okay. He's okay. He's just got he's got tear gas in the gut, in the in the uh, in the face. So we're seeing someone being wheeled away in a trolley. Someone who looks pretty badly injured. The police are now backing up, and they're getting ready to fire on the crowd as the crowd throws. Here we go. Oh, oh you got it. This anger in America has been brewing for months. Today's backlash was not confined to Minneapolis. Rioting and street protests in Denver. Roads were blocked. And later, a Kentucky protests, injuring seven people. New York as well. Police clashing with demonstrators, fist fights, and arrests in the center of Manhattan. <laughs> 